this morning. Amen. Put your hearts and mind on heaven. We are mindful to be timely. It is 1030 and we have committed ourselves to try to be out of here by 11 and I'm going to uh, try to stick to that and that way uh, we can move on to the other thing that the Lord has blessed us on our agenda for today. Beloved, just say amen. amen. Happy Jesus. Go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, I call in your name and I say thank you. Before I ask you for anything, Lord, I say thank you. Thank you, thank you for mercy. Thank you for grace. Thank you for peace. Thank you for joy. Thank you for goodness. Thank you for being a healer. Thank you for being a healer. For being a waiting. Holy, very, very present at the time of trouble. Lord, we have so much to be thankful for. We call upon your name. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us to be in the house of the Lord. For another Sunday morning, <laughs> my brothers and sisters, friends and family, sons and daughters of this ministry, Lord, we are here. We just want to tell you thank you for keeping us together. You being out of this, anything that's not like the Lord, we rebuke it and we put it down and cast it out of here in Jesus' name. But we lose brotherly love, we lose a mind of Christ spirit to hear the word of the Lord, to listen to our soul to be fed. Anoint me, sanctify me. Lay your hand on the Lord. Use me for these next few great moments, Lord. Your glory. Save, revive, restore, the love, and make free. In Jesus' name. Come on and clap your hands. Come on. Come on. Jesus before he came to where he was. Yes, sir. 
he knew something about Jesus before he got to where he was. But he made up his mind, I'm going to see Jesus. So I need to see him, who he was. Look what the Bible says. And, and I'm asking you today because the Bible said that he was a little man of stature. And he knew that he was not going to be able to see Jesus because any time Jesus came to town, any time Jesus came through, there was a mass of a crowd that gathered to be blessed by him, just to lay eyes on him. And as Jesus came through, he came to the place where Zacchaeus was. And the Bible says he climbed up a sycamore tree. And I want you to know that he didn't make no excuses. I'm asking us today in our walk with God and I would like that we live, don't make excuses for whatever it is your shortcomings may be. Don't make excuses. Don't blame nobody else. Don't wait for nobody else to do what you can do for yourself. Amen. This man, but the Bible lets us know he was considered a sinner. But there were those that murmured when Jesus went to his house to dwell and sup with him. He said, Jesus, he, he, he must don't know who this man is. He's a sinner. This life was no different than you and I, yes, but we are sinners saved by grace. Amen, Amen somebody. Amen. We're not who we used to be. We don't worry about our nature. Oh, yeah. All of us have done something yeah. in our life that's not pleasing yeah. to the Lord. Yeah. Not only before we've been saved, but since we've been yeah. saved. Yeah. But I'm so glad that, that God is merciful. The yeah. Bible says, Jesus came to where yeah. I came was. Yeah. And he looked up. Yeah. And I want you to know that Jesus knows where you are this morning. You sit in the house of God. He, he knows you. He, he knows what you need. He got what you need. Blessings with your name on it. And I'm so glad that Jesus, he looked up. And he had a conversation with him. And he said, I want you to make haste and come down. The Bible says that Zacchaeus did make no excuses. The Bible said he made haste. And that's what I'm asking us to do today with your spiritual life with God, with your relationship with God. We need to make haste. Move a little quicker. Move a little faster. Get on your knees and stay there. Rise up in the morning giving God the praise. Make haste. I'm so glad Jesus took the time. And he had a conversation with someone that was considered a sinner. But he wasn't embarrassed anymore. No, he didn't worry about his past anymore. Yeah, yeah. But when he came down and made haste to see Jesus, yes, the Bible said Jesus told him, come on down. Jesus. But today, I'm going to come and sup with you yeah. in your house. Yeah. And when he saw Jesus, yeah. there's something about when you come into the presence of Jesus. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Yeah. When we see Jesus, yeah. we realize that Jesus, yeah. we feel his righteousness. Yeah. We feel his strength, his joy. Yes. We feel his power. Yes. There is something that happened to Brother Zacchaeus. Yes. He had a conversion. Oh, but he, he told the Lord, uh, anything that I have done wrong, yes, I apologize yes. for. Oh, yes. If I was taking anything by false application, he, false accusation, he knew he was a thief. Yes. A lot of us this morning, we knew, we know what we're doing. Yes. And everything we're doing might not be lined up with God.
need Jesus. As you're standing there with your loved ones. If you're standing by yourself, know that Jesus is not unto thee. And as you stand, make up in your mind, I want what God has for me. I'm encouraging myself in the Lord. Holding on to Jesus. Take the time, brothers and sisters. And you reach out and touch the Lord. And you ask him, Lord, touch me. Touch me. Come on. Touch me. Touch me right now. I need your touch. I need you to lay your hand on me. Right now. Waiting on you. Standing in the house of God. My brothers, my sisters, husbands and wives, single mothers and fathers, widows and widows, young and old, all of our children, Lord, we need you. Touch us right now. It's me. Hallelujah. I'm standing here. My mind is made up. I open up to you right now. And I stretch out to you. Bless me, Lord. Strengthen me. Bless my life. Bless my way. Whether I'm in a city or whether I'm in a field. Coming out or going in. I need you to touch me. Come on, thank the Lord. That came and made up his mind. The Bible said he came. Come to Jesus. Lay it at his feet. Bless us now, Lord. Hear our prayer, hear our call. Hear our cry. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Come on and tell him thank you. Come on, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As you stand, I need thee. I got a couple of minutes to do a teaspoon of this song. Hallelujah. Just for one more moment. Stand, we're going to get ready to leave. Amen. I'm trying to find the key I need to be in. I can't sing like some of y'all can. Hallelujah. I need thee every hour, most gracious Lord. No tender love like thine can be afford. All up in the balcony. I need. Those in the 